My name is Dustin Chase. I'm a neighborhood resource officer with the Lawrence Police Department's Community Services Division. And we're out here today at the Safety Who's your sidekick? I'm Robin Sidwell, and I'm actually just helping out a friend here at the VFW. Post Excellent. Lawrence. Nice to see a team at work. Yep. And uh, today I'm here. I've got some Identikid kits uh, that we're handing out to parents um, in case you know a child goes missing or lost or something like that. Hopefully, we'll never have to use them. Um, but we've made these kits available to them. Uh, it includes a blue card where they get to put all their uh, identifying information, have a current photograph with it, and then we also give them the swab to actually do the DNA instead of the fingerprinting. So they just swab inside of the cheek, and they're going to have it in this box to dry out, and then they store the swab in their freezer for, should be good for about two years or so, and then that way, if for some reason they ever needed it, if they called the police for their child missing or whatever, then they can just hand all that information over to the officer, and it's uh, easy access, it, it gets that information out there quickly. Okay, so you get that information before it's a stressful situation. Yep, yeah, because mm -hmm. usually, you know, when, when that time does come and you have to ask them all those questions, you know, they're not thinking as clearly, so if they already have this made up and ready to go, then it's easier on the parents and it's uh, easier to get it out there. Is that a program that's available on a national basis or did it start here? Uh, well, I think it's pretty much a national basis. I mean, we have our own cards uh, made up. You know, I think every department probably has their own way of doing things, but um, we're just handing these out uh, for the parents to do and do it that way. What's the most frequently asked question that you get about the program? Um, actually, this is my first time doing the Identikid presentation, so... Uh, really it's all new. Any, uh, you know, I think it's usually uh, probably, you know, what they do with it. You know, we have to let them know that they keep the swab and everything in their freezer, they keep all the information themselves. It's not stored, you know, in the evidence room or anywhere else by the police department. That way that just makes it quicker for us to respond to. Excellent. Thanks a lot.